Happy end of July, beginning of August 2020 YouTube. This is my end of month pickups for silver, gold, and such. I do one every month, so welcome if this is your first time. Um, what a month it's been. So the spot price, I start with the spot price every month. Start with silver. Silver ended July at $24.50 per ounce up a whopping $6.17 per ounce from last month where it was $18.33. Amazing month for silver. Um, secondly, gold up $197 in chains uh, from last month where it was $17.85, $1982 and change. Amazing month for gold. All time high right here, folks. All time high. And the gold, gold to silver ratio was down 16 and a half to 80.93 from last month where it was 97.41. Um, and if you don't know what this is, it's how many ounces of silver equal one ounce of gold. So at this point, at these prices, 80.93 ounces of silver equals one ounce of gold. So we actually dropped... 16 and a half ounces of silver basically pretty incredible um i have been stacking for now 78 months so we're looking at what is that going on seven years pushing six and a half over 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 you know 78 months what is it uh yeah amazing actually seven years in January and I've seen silver go up to since I've been stacking maybe 22 ish I want to say maybe I've seen it at a low of the high 13s so high 13s to 22 so it was trading in a nine dollar range the fact that it's 2450 right now further solidifies why I've been doing this for the last almost seven years come January. So pretty incredible month. Um, that being said, every year I make up a goal list. This is my 2020 goals for gold and silver stacking. Lower my cost average. Um, I wanted to lower it to 2350. Um, I started the year off, I want to say at, what did I start the year off at? maybe 2380 something like that so i wanted to lower it about 30 cents to 2850 i wanted to get 180 ounces of silver so i will have 2200 ounces by the end of the year and by ounces i mean uh not proof coins and not official numismatic coins although we'll get into that in a little bit and 1.5 ounces of gold by year's end, my seven year mark, which is January 31st, 2021. You know, I've been spoiled, I guess, for the last six and a half years. It's, you know, I've been able to get cheap silver, um, cheap gold. It ain't cheap anymore. Um, my other goal, finish obtaining certain sets, Libertads, Queens Beasts, Britannias. Um, and also, let me go over this, because this will be a pretty quick video. What I stack versus what I collect. Um, I stack mostly items that I can sell quickly. I don't really buy and sell uh, silver or gold often. When I do, it's for a specialty item, perhaps, and then I just flip it and turn it over. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe last year was the last time I did it. But stuff I want to exchange for cash if I want to buy something else. Bullion, bars, rounds, and other precious metals example i buy something at 17 dollars, which i'm not buying at this point but this was my example then i buy something at 17 i sell it for 39. i called the i dubbed this the idgis the i don't give a shit about these items i care about them as far as bullion and my price but i'm not attached opposed to what i collect which is stuff that i am attached to mostly items i care about and i want to pass onward to my family sets collection series and as I said, what I'm collecting before, same thing, and include the Chinese panda set in that. So that is how I look at that. So 
Let's get into a couple items that I bought this month. Let's start off with some numismatic items. I bought not one, but two eight real coins. Um, I am collecting an all graded set. Uh, and when I say graded, I mean it has to have a physical grade. Like this is extra fine 45. This is very fine 20. These were graded by PCGS. They actually have the shield emblem on them, which actually makes it a little bit better, um, a little bit more expensive. And they're part of a collection anyway, the Calico 557 and the Calico 550. So these are actually really primo coins. I needed the 1815, I needed the 1817, and I'll show you the backs so you can see these. And I say this every time I show one, right there, M-O, you can see it right, right there. And on this one, same, you will see, M-O stands for Mexico City. Same thing on current day Libertads. In fact, I'm gonna show you the Libertad here. There's the M-O, current day Libertad. So, um, you know, on the fronts, you have, uh, you know, on this one, it's Philip the seventh. And you can see, it says it on here, it says Ferdinand the seventh, but it's Philip the seventh. Um, and when you flip it on this side, where is that person? So over here, you have the minter's initials. We have JJ minted this one. Who minted this one? Let's see. JJ minted this one also. So it's awesome. So I got these. I always like to uh, disclose what I paid for these. So the 1815, I got it for a smoking good price. Um, $112.47. The 1817, which is a date that I have had a problem finding and I finally got one, $130 even. So here's my checklist. Those that have been here before know this checklist well. Here is my 1815. These are all the uh, eight reels from 1809 to 1821. The Ferdinand the 7th. I get the cross off by 2015, and I get to cross off my 1817, and I said 2018, or 2015, to 1815, 1817, and you can see I wrote the price, the grade, the price and the grade there. So I just literally need an 1814 to complete this section. I uh, I'm proud of myself with this because I have been collecting these now for a little while and you can see earlier this year I finished off the Carolus the fourth which is 1789 to 1808 and you can see every one of them have a physical grade so I'm doing 1772 all the way to present that is a lot of coins folks so Spending the money here, getting some of these. This collection will be beautiful when it's all said and done. Very difficult to obtain an entire set of Mexico cities with physical grades. So kudos for me for doing that. So those were those two coins. This month is another very, very quiet month for me for ounces because I just did not get a lot of ounces because, like I said, I've been spoiled. But... I bought one Primo coin. This does count towards my stack. It's extremely expensive. Um, this was a $400 coin. It is the 1998 Mexico City Libertad. There was only 67,000 of these minted. I have probably about 12 or 13, maybe 14. This is the MS-69, as you could tell. There are not that many higher qualities. There are 70s, they're astronomical. I am perfectly content with an MS-69. Here's what happened, I bought this for $400. I was able to use my eBay bucks. It ended up coming down to $242.47. This was my purchase, my one purchase, aside from these guys, for the month of July. It is a hell of a purchase. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous coin. Um, my goal is to get 20 of these, so this was one ounce for the month of July. Unbelievable. I am waiting for the 2020 Libertads to come out so I can buy 20 of them, but as of right now, they haven't come out. They were supposed to come out today. 
the 31st. They have not, so I'll keep an eye out for them. Um, and as you can see, these are my liver tods right here. And these are packs or rolls of 20 of them. Some of them are graded, some of them are not, some of them are just in tubes, but they all count towards the ultimate stack. And I think I have the 96s, the 97s, and the 99s. I just have to go through my coins. I'm gonna be moving here in the next month and a half, so once I get settled, I'll update all of this. Um, I think I have all the 2015s also. So really, I know I need the 1991s, the, um, the uh, what do you call it? The second, actually, no, I do have them all. I have 20 of them. So, you know, this is where I'm at with this. Quiet month for me. Um, I'll show you this. This is where I'm at for this month. Like I said, my goal was 180 ounces of silver. No gold this month. My goal was to get it to 23.50. This month, everything here, these are typically my numismatic coins. This one does count towards numismatic, but it does count towards my stack because it is a regular Libertad, albeit graded. So um, I always put the coins here, my higher price coins in here. Um, my BU cost for this month, 247. I'm sorry, two, this should not be a 247. It should be a 200 and 42.47 this month, 242.47, and one ounce. So that gave me, I'm at 100 and a half ounces for the year. And then you add the amount of this coin. So you can see one ounce was $247 for the one ounce spent this month. Uh, last month, I spent 20, 20 on one ounce, then 16 ounces, 32, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, long story short, 242 added gives me $49,673 and change over the entire 78 months I've been doing this, divided by now 2,102 ounces and change equals 23.63 ounces. I actually went up first time. These were all downs, I think. No change, down 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 now down again and then up i'm up 11 cents from last month because this coin was so expensive so um but i'll take an 11 cent gain to have premium quality this is fine so even though my cost basis is 23.63 as you could tell, I have 13, 14 of just this coin. Graded, maybe it's not a MS69, but they're 68, seven, sixes, and then some of them that are raw that are not graded. So obviously my set is worth a hell of a lot more than $23.63 per coin. But the average of all my coins, all my bullion, bars, rounds, is 23.63 an ounce. I'm below spot. That is unbelievable for me to say. For the first time in actual stacking in 78 months, I am below spot price based on all, where's it at? 2,102 ounces of silver that I have that would be considered bullion. I am finally under spot. Incredible. I don't know if we'll stay there. But it doesn't really matter. I'm stacking them anyway. If this number goes crazy, if the spot price here goes nuts and goes up to $50, $60, $70, you best believe I will be selling some of my bars. Um, recoup some of the cost on like coins like this or like this. And by doing that, it'll make my stack free. So that's where I am for the month. This is my list. Uh, just I always like to show this. It shows exactly what I paid. It's a very quiet list this month. So that is exactly where I am, guys. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep on pushing. Have a good one, guys.